hello friends i hope you are doing well in this tutorial i'm going to show you the most useful shortcut keys in excel that every excel users must know the first one is a control plus arrow key down if you have a long set of data it will be very difficult to go from one part of the data to another part of data so instead of scrolling down or scrolling right you can do that you can press the control plus uh, arrow key down and it will take you to the last row as you can see that this is uh, row 4508 and if i press the control arrow key up it will take me to the sixth row and here is the sixth row if i again press control arrow key down it will take me to the last row and the next shortcut key is control plus shift arrow key if you want to select any set of data one column or one row and the only thing you need to do is control plus shift arrow key down or you can do arrow key right in order to select a set of data or a part of data this is very useful in excel and uh, the third short key is control plus k which adds a hyperlink to a set of data uh, for example uh, this is an attendance for employees attendance sheet for the year 2021 uh, i want to link this uh, button to the month of january this is the month of january attendance for the month of january and i want to link this button to the month of january while i click on the month of january it should directly take me to the month of january so first of all you select this button then press ctrl k and the hyperlink uh, windows opens then after that you uh, select place in this document and from here you uh, select the january now if i go to the month of january it will be automatically linked and take me to the month of january and the next shortcut key that i want to show you is shift alt and right arrow key which is used for a grouping of data uh, for instance this is a long data and all these companies belong to the year 2006 if i want to group all the companies which are in the year 2006 the only thing i need to do is <coughs> to select all the companies from here and you go down and now uh, press shift alt and right arrow key shift alt and right arrow key so as you can see that now all these companies are grouped in one group here is a minus if i click on it it will combine all the uh, companies which are in the year 2006 similarly i can do the same thing for 2007 I can group all the companies which are in the year 2007 <clears throat> okay whenever you again uh, press the plus button it will expand the other short key that I'm going to show you is control plus F9 this shortcut key is used to hide all the selected rows for example if for any reason I want to uh, hide all these rows first of all I select and after that I press the control plus F9 then as you can see that all these rows are hidden and from where you can see that these rows are hidden uh, here is in this area it is highlighted again if you double click on it it will become apparent if you again press control 
9 it will be again hidden and the other shortcut that i'm going to show you is control plus zero this shortcut key is used to hide all the selected columns if i select one column two three four and if i want to uh, hide uh, this columns uh, just i press the control plus zero it will be hidden then after that if i i want to show it again then on the highlighted area you can double click and it will be shown the next shortcut key is control plus equal this shortcut key is used to auto sum all the related values uh, for example if i want to uh, sum up all the values of uh, this column column q and the thing i want to do is that i click on the last uh, cell then after that i press the alt plus equal it will automatically sum up all the values of this column then after that uh, i will enter and it will sum all the values now it is time to learn about the control plus semicolon if i need uh, to insert the today's date uh, the only thing i need to do is control plus semicolon and it will insert the today's date okay today's date is 20th of january 2021 and it is automatically inserted by pressing control plus uh, semicolon the other shortcut key that i want to show you is uh, control plus space if for any reason uh, for example you are in the middle of the data and if you want to select the entire column you can press the control plus is, uh, space and it will automatically select the entire column and you do need to go back and select from here if you want to select the entire row then you can press the shift plus space if you press the shift plus space it will select the entire row now i uh, press the shift plus space and the entire row is selected the next shortcut key that i'm going to show you is alt plus enter this shortcut key is used to add another line in a cell uh, for example uh, here i want to write the name of a company like softonic company softonic company and below this i want to write its address like word if i press the enter it will come to another cell so i cannot do i cannot write in a simple way below that line so what should i do is that i press the alt plus enter and it can write below that i will uh, type then address then i can write here the address of the company the next shortcut key is uh, auto fill or fill down formula uh, first of all i want to sum up the total of this uh, four quarter i press the alt i press the alt plus equal to auto sum and it will automatically sum up uh, the first row then i press enter and the next thing i want to uh, use i want to apply the same formula for the rest of the rows so what i can do is that i press ctrl d and it will automatically uh, sum up all the rows if i double click on one of the cell as you can see that it correctly uh, calculated and summed up all the values of the rows the other shortcut key that i want to show you is control plus page up and page down if you press control plus page down it will take you to another sheet right now i'm in master table if i uh, press the control page down it will take me to regression process if i again press the control page down it will 
uh, take me to the new regression and finally summary table if i press the control page app it will bring me back to the previous page okay thank you for watching this video if you are familiar with another shortcut that is not discussed here you can type in the comment section of this video